We talked earlier this week on Monday about the, the shooting in Los Angeles International Airport, which was specifically done to target TSA agents by a guy describing himself as a pissed off patriot. We're talking, of course, of Paul Ciencia. And I'm shocked and at the same time, not that shocked that this shooting has not been that interesting to most corporate media. And I'm curious about why that is. Now, Media Matters put together an article about this and their view is that this is a guy who seems to be more or less a right winger, certainly in line with some of the extremist libertarian Alex Jones, et cetera, type rhetoric, and that this is just not that interesting to corporate media. And they may have a point. Uh, this was not a random shooting, right? It was specifically a guy who in his in his manifesto describes himself as a pissed off patriot. He affirms that he made a conscious decision to kill TSA employees. He said he wants to kill TSA and pigs to instill fear in your terrorist mind. He he signed his declaration with the letters NWO, apparently referencing the New World Order, which is another conspiracy theory of the this kind of a, uh, a totalitarian one world government conspiracy theory. And his note reportedly referred to Homeland Secretary Chief Janet Napolitano as a bull dyke and contained the phrase F U Janet Napolitano. So a quote pissed off patriot uh, gets a two a, a 223 caliber assault rifle. He gets a duffel bag filled with hundreds of rounds of ammunition, goes to an airport specifically to kill federal government workers, TSA employees because of their traitorous behavior and perhaps pigs, right? Local law enforcement officials. And the story is kind of like, eh, yeah, OK, we'll report about it a little bit, but we're not going to go crazy as if this guy were Muslim, right? Can anybody honestly look at the lack of coverage, the lack of interest in this? Once we found out it was a pissed off patriot angry with the TSA and WO calls Janet Napolitano a bull dyke and say that the coverage would have been the same if this guy were Muslim. There is no way at all, Lewis, that the coverage would have been the same. You're right. It would be completely different. But there's only one thing I'd add to this, and that's that even we we agreed that this man was mentally ill. So, I mean, if, if it is the case that this man this was just a mentally ill man, is it worth all that reporting if he was just a sick guy? Well, but this is the argument you'll hear. This is the you're you're playing devil's advocate and you're you're absolutely right to do it, Lewis. And we hear this argument from the right. Well, guys, what do you want? Why are you making it political? It's just a crazy lunatic guy. The same people who are saying that are the ones who anytime there is any type of, of violence that isn't obviously a guy who has gone off the deep end of right wing conspiracy theories then all of a sudden it doesn't matter if it was mentally ill. We could say, Lewis, anybody who is willing to go into a public place like this and commit a shooting has some degree of mental disturbance. We could agree to that and we could say there are probably varying degrees, but but there's some element of that no matter who it is. Then we should see either either consistent coverage or non coverage of the events, regardless of whether it's a pissed off patriot or a Muslim extremist, regardless of religion. But we don't see that all else being equal, mental illness being equal. We see drastically different coverage. Also, we know what's better for ratings, right? This yeah. would not nearly be as good for ratings as if it were a Muslim extremist, plain and simple.